38 year old female patient with history of normal vaginal delivery sustained perineal tear during the delivery of her third child. The patient had fecal incontinence and there was an associated anterior seal during clinical examination. The procedure started with injection of normal saline with adrenaline in the perineal area to reduce the extent of bleeding. Then a curvilinear incision was made in the perineum just anterior to the anus. The section was made using combined technique of blunt and sharp dissection. The bisection continued until the glistening white fibers of the internal anus sphincter appeared. The anterior to seal was completely evident during examination under anesthesia. Complete perineal body reconstruction was performed starting with plication and repair of the rectovaginal septum using polygalactine sutures. The repair was done using interrupted technique in order to augment and reinforce the weak and deficient rectovaginal septum. Upon completion of the reconstruction of the weak rectovaginal septum, second layer of repair proceeded by doing an anterior levator plasty. Both edges of the levator muscle were approximated also using polyglactine sutures. The aim of the levator plasty was to support the repair of the rectovaginal septum and also to prevent the recurrence of the rectocele. Finally, the third layer of repair, anterior sphincteroplasty. Both ends of the deficient external anal sphincters are approximated and suture together using polyglactine sutures. The anterior sphincteroplasty completes the perineal body reconstruction. Hence, now we have three layers of repair the augmented and reconstructed rectal vaginal septum, anterior levetroplasty, and finally the anterior sphincteroplasty using end to end repair. Subcutaneous tissue is approximated on both sides. The skin was closed in a longitudinal fashion in order to correct the problem of the deficient perineum 
and to lengthen the perineal area.